Hello, I'm Beemelzebub, and welcome to my channel. Did you know that as an atheist, I want nothing more than to destroy Christmas? Oh yeah, it's that time of year again. So let's get out our primary weapon in the war on Christmas, the Starbucks Holiday Cup. Now to the uninitiated, this might seem a little silly, but this Holiday Cup is very threatening to some Christians. Do you realize that Starbucks wanted to take Christ and Christmas off of their brand new cups? That's why they're just plain red. By the way, Josh, if you turn your phone sideways, you get a better, less ridiculous vertical video. So try doing that in the future, and you might be taken just a little bit more seriously. And at the very least, people will have one less thing to make fun of you for. But as you just saw, Starbucks coffee cups are somehow critical to at least Josh Feuerstein enjoying his Christmas for some reason. Now that clip is a few years old, so holiday cups look a little different now compared to back then. I mean, this is just the red one, but this is what they look like now. Hopefully you're all armed with the ultimate weapon in the war on Christmas as well, and if you are, we can proceed to the rest of the video. So you may be wondering why I'm wearing a Santa hat if I'm one of every atheist ever waging a war on Christmas. Well, actually, Santa is an infiltrator. Come on, a magical fat man who delivers presents to every kid on the planet in one night with reindeer? Obviously, he's trying to help take Christ out of Christmas. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. And don't even get me started on Christmas trees. Nothing says we're on Christmas quite like appropriating pagan tradition. And the wreaths that people put on doors and windows, same thing. Just realized I haven't taken a drink from my war on Christmas cup in a while, so hang on. Uh, it's all right. Starbucks isn't really my thing. But getting back to the video instead of drinking mediocre coffee, wake up, people! Without realizing it, you've been waging the war to remove Christ from Christmas for me. But I think the most successful self-sabotage campaign atheists like myself have waged against Christians, Christianity, and Christmas has to be rampant consumerism. Don't believe it's been successful? Tell me, Christians, how much money did you spend buying presents, decorations, and everything else that goes along with modern Christmas? Hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, I've had my fun. You want the truth? For the most part, atheists don't give a rat's hairy ass about how you celebrate Christmas. Go to church. Pray. I don't care. Just don't tell me how to celebrate the holiday season. And don't tell me I have to say Merry Christmas either. I don't know you or your religious beliefs. So when I say Happy Holidays to you, it's because I don't know your personal beliefs. And considering the number of holidays happening around now, I don't want to come across as a presumptuous dick. But that'll do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter to keep up with all my comings and goings, and follow me on Discord to, you know, talk to me. I, I like to think I'm a pretty cool guy. But happy holidays, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next one.